What's good y'all? I'm back with another video, you feel me? Now today, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best shooting centers in NBA 2K21, you feel me? Now, before we get into that, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, you feel me? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But now, on to the video. I'm gonna be showing y'all two builds um, that I feel like are really good. One of them is best at 99, the other one you is a really good build, whether you hit 99 or not, so you, you feel me? You can be 95 and it'll still be a good build. But for the first one, I'm gonna show you the one that is gonna be really good at 99. Um, I feel like it's a good build overall. You just need a. It just depends on how you are with the shooting. So it's your, it's your choice if you want to go with this build or not. But for position, you want to go small forward. Hand doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't matter. Up to you. And then for the pie chart. Now, mind you, for both of these builds, the pie charts have no red in them. Because me personally, I feel like you don't need Hall of Fame defensive badges or any red in your pie chart for you to um, play good defense. You feel me? If you have a good strength and vertical, you're gonna be fine. And if you know how to play center, know how to play D, you're gonna, you're also gonna be finding it against stops. So for the skill breakdown one with this one up here, it's this one right here. And then for physical profile, this is up to you as well. But I personally advise you to go for, for either vertical and strength, or you can go for the all balance one, like I'm about to go for too. But you should at least have some strength in there, because since you don't have Hall of Fame defensive badges, you're gonna want some strength, and you know. You don't get bitched in the paint and shit like that. So I'm gonna go with the all around one. And then for attributes, you wanna first max out all your shooting. And then defensive max all max all of that out. And then for finishing, max out standing, max out driving, max out driving, and then put close shot like that. Now for body shape, you could put whatever you want. It's up to you. For me, I'm gonna put slight because I like to fuck control. And then height, you want to keep it at 6'7". Weight, put it to 227 so you can get to 70 strength. And then wingspan, you want to put it... Yeah, you want to put it to 88 right here. And then, okay, so hold on. For the reason, okay, so the reason why I say this is this build is only good. Not necessarily only good. It depends, you know, for, you feel me, how you shoot. But it's best at 99 because... At 99, you're gonna get a plus four, you feel me? So that's gonna be a 76. And if your point guard, hopefully, should have, you feel me? He should have playmaking badges so he can pull for a general on. You're gonna get that plus four, so you're gonna have a solid um, 83 point, or a good amount of badges. So if you should be able to shoot with that, you feel me? You should be able to shoot with that. If you can't, then I'm gonna, you know, just wait till the next build and I'm gonna show you this. It's gonna be a way better shooting build, so you don't gotta worry about all that. But if you also wanna be able to, you know, um, have some finishing this has great finishing for me and also shoot i feel like this is the best way to go so that's why i want you know with these attributes and shit like that um now for take is your personal preference i would rather go with lock take um so if i you know if we're on defense and they're about to win or whatever and i have lock take that can come in clutch um let me just show you how the badge real quick i would run on this build all right now for the badge for finishing Definitely want contact. Definitely want slither. And then I'm gonna put lob city on silver and then consistent on silver. For shooting, you want hot zone, dead eye, green machine, all of this. Now if you want, you could also do this right here. Cause dead eye and green machine works great at silver. Um so you you don't really need it at gold. It's up to you if you want to run hot start or not. Um hot start is a really good badge. The only thing about it is like if you be missing your first like if you be if you make a shot and then you miss like it's over you feel me so depending on how you are and how like you know if you make your shots or not you can put this badge on if you're gonna be missing and shit like that then nah you might as well just go go dead and go go green machine you feel me so there's no point in running it and then for playmaking I'll probably put like quick first step or you could put like needle threader or unpluckable some shit like that and then for defensive I will put rebound chaser gold. For sure, rim protected gold. And then you can either go post move lockdown gold, or you can put a silver, and put like interceptor bronze, or you can do intimidator. It depends, cause you have a good amount of strength, you feel me? So I don't know if you're really gonna be getting bitch like that in the paint or not. If you are, then you might wanna put post move lockdown or moving truck, whatever works best. Um, if not, if you seem to be, you know, playing good defense, you could put these badges on like intimidator. Or some other shit, but I would probably just put on like post move lockdown like that. And yeah, that's the first build. Um, I'm about to show y'all the other build. 
And the other boat is basically is gonna be like a pure sharpshooter. It's gonna be, you feel me, you don't have to reach 99 to be able to shoot good or nothing like that. And it's still, I still feel like in my opinion, it's gonna play great defense. Finishing is gonna lag, playmaking is gonna lag, obviously. But overall, I feel like it's a good build, so I'm about to show you right now. All right, for this build, you also wanna go um small forward. And it doesn't matter again, jerseys don't matter, up to you. Now for skill breakdown, like I said, you want it's gonna be a pure sharpshooter, so you wanna go with the all green. Now for the physical profile, like my last one, you feel me? I advise you go with strength and vertical. Um, since you're not gonna have Hall of Fame defensive badges, you don't want that strength to you know help you out with vertical as well. So I'm gonna go with this one. And then for attributes, max out your shooting. And then put like free throw down a little bit. But to the point we still get 30 badges, you feel me now. For defense, you want to max all of this out. And then with the rest, you can just put on driving dunk. This, this, and then just like that. Now body shape also up to you. I'm gonna put slight. Um, for height, you want to go six eight. For weight, on, give me a second. Weight, you want to go 212. Yeah, you want to go 212. For wingspan, for wingspan, I had 89 here, right here. Yeah, so for wingspan, you want to have 89. Your three is gonna go down. Trust me, 85 three is more than enough. You also, if you feel me, if you reach 97, 99, whatever the case may be, you're gonna go a little bit higher. Um, forgot what video it was. I think it was 2K Labs. They also did. They show like statistics. The difference from an 85 three to like a 90 is not that much of a big difference. So you should be able to shoot at 85 if you can. That's kind of tough, and you got 30 def um, not defensive. You got 30 shooting badges, so you you should be straight, bro. You should be straight. Um, so me personally, I would go with Loctite. You can run um, spot up if you want. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Loctite, and then I'm about to show you other badges I would run for this build. Now for finishing, I would just put on contact shooting. But no, 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 I'm gonna put a green machine that I this or cash and shoot, and then you could put a hoster. You could put a hoster, or you could put difficult shots. So you're gonna be doing that, or you can you can also do this because again, dead eye um and green machine. The difference from like gold to hall of fame, also silver to hall of fame, is not that much of a difference. Like it works really good at silver, so. But you necessarily don't need any of these badges higher than that, so you know you could keep it at gold if you want. You could do this. Matter of fact, you don't even need clutch. What am I doing, bro? Do this right here. You don't even need clutch shooter, bro. You're gonna be green. You don't need that shit. So this right here, that's what I would run. Um, if anything, green machine can run this. You feel me? It's all pretty. You can change up the badges how you want them to, but main badges you want to have, you're gonna be in the corner. You feel me? Let your man's ISO shit like that if you're shooting big. Cash and shoot, corner specialist, volume shoot is a good one. And Hot 100, 100, another thing, this badge, the difference from Gold to Hall of Fame is also is barely anything, so you can run the shit on Gold too. So again, you know, with all of this, you just adjust it how you want. But this is pretty much how I would go about it um, in the badge I would run. Now for playmaking, probably put, I don't know, unpluckable or needle threader. I would just put unpluckable. And then for defensive, same thing as the last build, you want rebound chaser, rim protector, and then post move lockdown. You could also change it up for filming, but this is what I would have. Um, but yeah, man, those are the two best um, shooting centers, in my opinion, for me. Overall, if you're a good center, if you know how to play defense, you do not need Hall of Fame defensive badges. If you got the strength and vertical, you're gonna be straight. Um, and the thing is with, with shooting, if you want like half shooting, half defensive, like the attributes are not gonna come off that good and shit like that. Like, Overall, it, it's just chips because, you know, they made it more balanced in 2K21 than last year. So I just feel like these two builds are actually really good. I feel like this one is it's going to be better for most because the other one, like I said, is going to be best on 99. It's going to be hard to shoot if you haven't reached 99 and shit like that. But um, if, you're, if you do reach 99, then you're going to be straight. You feel me? And if you know how to shoot, you know how to shoot. So it's going to be a really good build. And you're going to also be able to slash on the other build. But yeah, those are the two best builds in my opinion. Um, if you like the video, make sure you like, make sure you leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe, and I'm out.